I still personally believe that America is the greatest country in the world. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this. What's going on, people? I hope you are having a fantastic 4th of July, and I hope that you are being able to reap that freedom and those rewards that we get from being the greatest country in the world. I still personally believe that America is the greatest country in the world, even though a lot of people do not believe that. I believe that there's a lot wrong with the world, and I believe that there's a lot wrong with America, but I also believe that this is the greatest country in the world and that there's more opportunity here than most other places. We notice that there's people fleeing their countries to come here. There's a lot of people that you know want to come here for the freedoms that we offer and i really do believe that america is the greatest country in the world for that very reason now i just want to talk for a second about freedom i thought this is a valuable topic to kind of bring up today and you're probably wondering well i don't know i don't want i don't care about freedom i just care about business well you should care about freedom because without freedom you can't start your business without freedom you can't be a personally excellent without freedom you can't lead by example without freedom we can't fix the world a lot of people take for granted the freedoms that we have here in America for constructing a business and the America's economic structure and freedom is the very cornerstone of the economic structure here in America and it's just the truth. Without freedom, you can't have the freedom to run a business and the taxes are going to be too high to even be able to run a business. I really think that America is one of the greatest countries to start a business in just for that very reason because there is the freedom. But I think our business freedom is definitely under attack today. I think that it's essential that we kind of stand up against the corporate machines, stand up against the oligarchy, and stand up against the people who call themselves the elite, who think that they are better than everyone else. I think that most people make fun of people who say, well, you know, you're stuck in the matrix, you know, the matrix, the matrix. Okay, listen, there are people that make a, more money in a day than you will make in your lifetime. Do you understand that? There are people that will make more money in one day, 24 hours, than you will make in your entire lifetime. So now tell me again about how the matrix isn't real, because it definitely is. And there's only one way to escape to freedom. And that is by being personally excellent and leading by example. There's one way, hard, hard work. You have to work hard, there's no easy way out. Listen, I've been pulling 16 hour days for a good while now, like for almost two weeks, three weeks now. And I really, really hope that this work is paying off. And I can see that it's paying off because I'm getting more clients, I'm getting more people that I'm able to help, I'm being able to help more people around the world. And I really do think this is a very powerful tool. I think that being able to have the freedoms to speak out, to show people that there is another option is something that's going away in most countries across the world but the US still has the freedom to talk. Although you might get quote unquote canceled for it, I think that if you aren't controlled by a large media outlet or a large corporate entity, you have a lot more freedom than most people in the world. One of the reasons that, and I'm not trying to get political here, but one of the reasons that the media is skewed one way is because they have the power to do it because they are required to do it because they are funded by large corporations and the people that so-called people that call themselves the elite. Guess what? These people are evil. They don't have your best interests at heart. You have to be able to escape the rat race, escape the matrix by leading by example. There's one way to do it. There's no easy way to do it. I wish I could just tell you, okay, here's the secret pill to do this. Here's this one little thing that you can do and you get all the results and all the secrets of life. There's not. The one way, the only way to escape the matrix is by being personally excellent and working hard. I think that if you can't work hard, you're never gonna be able to escape and you can just go flip the burgers. A lot of people want the result. Everyone wants to get rich but nobody wants to put in the hard work to get rich. Everybody wants to be in great physical shape. Everybody wants to have a six pack, but if everybody had a six pack, it wouldn't be valuable. It's the hard work and determination to get from point A to point B that sets the world apart. The trick here is to just put in the work. Work as hard as humanly possible, especially when you're young. You gotta put in the work early, pay your dues now, and reap the rewards later. It's a very important time 
in society and that is because the matrix is stronger than ever they're controlling people's minds harder than ever and i really do think to be able to get that freedom you need to be able to escape and be able to have money and be able to provide for your family to provide for the people around you and if you can't have the freedom to do that you will never ever succeed make sure that we are protecting the american values of freedom Make sure that we're on top of things, that we're being personally excellent, that we're leading by example, but also that we are working as hard as humanly possible to continue to grow and to continue to expand our minds and to continue learning and to continue reaping the rewards of freedom and having that voice, speaking out when there's something wrong, doing the things that need to be done, even when you don't feel like doing it. That is what freedom is all about. Freedom, it's not just all about you know being able to do whatever you want. Freedom is having the ability and the opportunity to put in the hard work so that you can reap the rewards later. If you don't want to reap the rewards of freedom, you can keep flipping the burgers at McDonald's. But I will continue to reap the rewards of freedom and continue to put in the hard work every single day. And I think that you should do the same. It ain't all about the money, but I stack it because you never